Hello everyone, my name is Jay Beetle and this is Sparklight. I'm not even sure I remember how to do these anymore. It's been a long time. I've been playing a ton of Kingdom and Kingdom New Lands. Oh, it's so addicting and difficult, but I completed it. I know that's irrelevant to Sparklight, but Sparklight's essentially um, similar to Legend of Zelda in its uh, gameplay. And I've heard it's short but sweet. Um, now my controller's not working, and I'm unsure why. This is v there we go. It's back, everyone. Anyway, I'm excited by the music. Let's see what this is. You can find it on Steam. Probably only Steam, maybe GOG. Rerouting circumnavigation course around the storm. We need to get out of here. This storm is highly unusual and detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. For now, we have full systems func. Wait, standby. We're experiencing a strange create corrosion on our hull. It looks looks like it's moving. Yeah, I love the music. Quick, take out that muck with your wrench. Yeah, exactly what I thought it would be. Nice work. Maybe a little secret of, secret of mana-ish. Yikes. Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart. Um. Oh, okay. Ah! We did it. It's no use. We're going to have a... Okay, well, I did it, though. Initiating escape protocol. Wait, what about that... I pointed at the screen. What about this thing? This amulet has been passed down. It's priceless to you. Well, let me grab it, then. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I see. Oh, no. You have to go without me. Please don't fret. It was truly been a pleasure to you. He can fly. <clears throat> Just saying. Goodbye, Ada. Probably similar and more simplified to uh, CrossCode. That's a very complicated, but same gameplay type of game. Boink. Let's see, what else are there? That's the only things I have right now. This looks very, very Zelda-y itself. Um, I guess I don't go to that yet. And it's cool because it starts out the same way as... Uh, well, not the same way, but... It starts out raining just like Link to the Past. That's, I don't know, I thought that was cool. Well, obviously I have to get in that. Oh, I probably need to inspect the door. What the fudge? There's nothing else to do! Um... Oh, I'm blind. Recover your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child. The way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling freaking stars. How convenient. The spark slinger. A spark light tensioner cobbled together with spare parts from your pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. What? Wait, so are... I'm confused. I shouldn't question it so much, but did she make that? Because it's just sitting there. Is this her place then? Sounds very dungeony. You've reverse engineered the spark slinger. You can now assemble it in a workshop. Oh, that makes more sense, I guess. You found spark light. It's the primary currency in Geodia. There was just a question by the Sparklight developers as to whether grass 
should have spark light. And you know what? I think it should rarely. That gives you um, a reason to cut it. You know, just like rupees. Boink. Oh, I love the music is. Whoever did the music, it's way better than. It just stands out more than the rest of the game. You found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. So, a quest. Why am I glad to, s to see another person? It was quite a storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground tremors, I was worried this whole place was going to shift out from under us. The name's Hawketh, and this is a, a widget shop. No way you'll be able to do business if these tremors keep up. I heard rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Hey, think you can help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some Grimmins nicked it from me during the storm. There's a camp of Grimmins south, west of here. See if you can find my widget bag. Okay, here you go. I didn't think you could handle those Grimmins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find these refugee... Refugee? Refuge place folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can keep the bag. Yay! Widget bag. You got Hawk's widget bag. Now you can hold widgets you find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. If you ever make it to Floating Town, come say hello. So... You have his shop. Like where all of his stuff is, but you can't get to it. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, buddy. I wonder if I even needed a mine. Yeah, mine and a mine. Ada, you're alive. Listen, you shouldn't be here. It's too strong for you. <clears throat> no, get out before it's too... Oh, he sucked him in. Boris, tunneling titan. Cool. Oh, I was hitting the wrong thing. Ow! Was I supposed to die? The whole thing's about supposed to die. You always think some people put in it, well, well, technically, if you're really, really good, you can beat it. And that always makes me wonder. If, every time, if this is that time. Kind of like, the, they did the same thing in uh, Moonlighter at the very beginning in the tutorial. They make it so it's so difficult you just die. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out of like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What are you thinking, fighting one of the Baron's foremen alone? You need to be in a Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least the strongest one. Oh, that gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? Sure, why not? <laughs> it works. I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Oh, you'll also need this. Increase maximum health by a quarter heart. Equipable at the multi-tool. Enhancement machine in the medical facility. Blah, 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 blah. It's a resilience patch. Man, they throw so much at you. You can equip it in your multi-tools patch board to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the med bay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. But if you want more patches, I'm gonna need more sparklight. One way to get more sparklight is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to crews on the east docks. 
Okay, well, how many do I have? 82? Ooh, I can buy something. And what's this? 300 kinetic converter. What? It said it was 80. Might as well. Sweet. Have a heart. Okay, it looks like I don't have anything else to say. I mess around here. Man, I need to kill everything. Okay, I don't have any- I don't have anything, so let's do it. Am I all geared up? Well, I don't have anything, so... Thank you for the- oh, what is this? Spark clusters! Ooh, cool! So it, in fact, did not matter if I used all the things. <laughs> Keep knocking me out. Cool. I need some heart stat. Okay, so I definitely can't... Oh, those guys suck. Definitely can't break rocks with my hammer. I guess I'm just doing this just to, to grind. Ah! To grind, and then... Back up there. And a piece of blue spark light. This is worth five pieces of spark light. And bonk. Dungeon. <laughs> this is an interesting concept. It's like a Moab. Awesome. Oh, God. What? Oh, I thought it was control. Oh, shoot. That is tough. So, it's not con it's not necessarily controllable, so you just turn it and it keeps going constantly and you just all you do is change the direction. You don't change whether it goes forward or not. It's kind of flighty. Oh, jeez. It's actually tougher than it looks. But this is good practice. 
Ooh, this is a long one. Nice. Why is that difficult? That might be why. No, this is not difficult. And I'll just go for the freaking slowest one. Whoops, okay, that was... Uh, <laughs> Shit. This is not difficult as I continuously miss. Alright, there we go. Whoop! So now I guess I can make that. It's like a tutorial. That's a very interesting way to do a tutorial. So all the new items, you have to complete an easy thing. Relatively. Interesting. Nice. So I gotta do it again. I'm gonna be able to afford so much. that I don't lose my spark light so that's worth it to just die it seems oh, okay so I have 127 I can buy like a bronze multi-tool damage patch you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go upgrade something outside that seems like the, the go-to here. Wow. Constructing all that with just a hundred? Using a spark like tensioner for maximal kinetic energy. Why didn't I think of that? Where do you find the inspiration of this? Let me see that schematic. Are those founders rings? How could that be? The vaults have been sealed for all of record recorded history. In any event, I can learn a lot from your findings. Here, take this. This patch reveals the location of founders vaults on the world map. Okay. Invent something after, but not right now. I love this music. What is that? That's clearly something. Widget shop. Oh yeah, I need to put in my patch. What 
What's over here? Nothing! There's something chirping nearby, but I can't find. Will you help me look? It's on your hat. Wow, it's a beat! Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? I've been searching everywhere for more beets. I can't believe you found one. Beets used to be easy to find, but the barren's pollution makes it hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when beets can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. Oh, that's horrible. They started hiding to avoid the pollution, but I'm afraid they will all die if we don't find them soon. If you can find any beets during your adventure, send them here so they can sing with us. My name's Harmony, by the way. And this is my golden beat buddy tempo. Okay, so it wasn't just on her hat. Okay, so I already know where another one is. But I don't know how to get to it yet. Until we get maybe a shovel type item. Because that's clearly... There's clearly something down there. Yes. Let's do one more jump into roguelike land. Oh, wow. <laughs> Immediately found a beat. expected that not to be like boink okay I don't have anything special for that yet Does that break this? Are you kidding me? I want one that breaks it. Plus, it takes forever to even shoot. Here's. I see. I see that. I just don't know how to get to it. something that'll knock these guys on their feet. Charging, stunning thing. Boink. Boink. I know you. No, I don't. Oh, I didn't think I'd meet anyone here. I'm Pogo. I was exploring with my sister Margot. Think you could find her for me?
So essentially I have to make sure I don't screw up. Wait, but why can't I, why can't I go in here? Do I need to get a new medallion every time or should I have got it before I left and I didn't realize it? That seems kind of stupid. spawning so that's cool well, there's that again okay did not go that direction Maybe they're under here and I just need to get a tool that will get rid of the muck. That's probably or just they're just around here. That's more likely. Never mind. Okay, that's that. And I still only have 131 thingies. Hey! I was really hoping that had hearts. It's been a while since I saw another person out here. My name's Margo, my brother Pogo. What do you have? So he's okay, hooray, time for me to head home. This patch reveals the vine lens on the world map when you land in the world. Wow, that's big. No, oh, no. Oh. Yes, rockets. Wait, how do I? Okay, now I have the rockets. Thanks for an easy outro. So I have 141. Let's put on some patches. Patch took up two. Hey, and they're perfectly here. Hi again, we're taking a breather. Okay, they're just rescued the end. Here's more, I think. Sure, let's listen to it. Yeah, it's very, very sparse. Right, let's construct this baby. Actually, if I use... I'd rather do this. Give me a weapon. Oh, 
Boom Balloon. And that is all I can buy. So, this is essentially Sparklight. I think you can get enough of the game to determine whether you want to get it or not. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, I really think you should pick it up. It also has co-op. I'm not sure how the co-op works, but it showed me uh, on the Steam, the new Steam feature where you can play local co-op games online. So they're not local anymore. You can play them with friends and it just pops up in the bottom corner whenever you start the game saying, hey, you want to make it co-op now? And I haven't tested it myself, but I've heard good things about it. Anyway, this has been Sparklight. My name's Jay Beetle. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.